Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Me and the dog Bones are out here working on this 2000 EasyGo TXD golf cart. We're gonna put a couple small accessories on here just to help liven it up a little bit. Uh, the first thing we're gonna put on is the front seat cover. These are just the diamond stitch seat covers from Nokins. We want a big shout out to them for hooking us up, sending these out. Uh, we're supposed to get the rear seat ones too. We'll do those once we get those. And also we're gonna put uh, the armrest on the back also which will look funny without the seat covers, but we're gonna put these on to get them on there. Those are the two things we're gonna to do today. So with that being said, let's get up here, show you what it takes to get this done, because these have some cloth covers on them. We're gonna take these cloth covers off and then we gotta take the, the back rest off and then the lower seat so we can wrap these around. They're not staple kind or anything, they just literally like strap on, so it'll be nice. So let's get going. All right, guys, to give you guys a little closer look at what these are, these are these are easy to install they're and they're easy to clean because they're that kind of vinyl feel so and they just strap onto there and they are padded so they got that diamond get you guys a closer look they got that diamond weave gives it a little up, upper scale look they're easy to put on because they just go over the the seat that's there then you just put the straps over and pull them tight uh so that's this is the back and then the bottom works the same way you can see the straps there you're just going to take the bottom piece off to make it easy strap that on and then we'll show you how to do the arms when we get to it but the first thing we're going to do in here is we're going to take these old ratty covers off and underneath you'll see it the vinyl on it there is in good shape it's just really really stained and dirty so what we're going to do before we uh put the new ones on there is we're going to try to wipe off what we can on here a lot of this is stained so it doesn't come off so we're just going to wipe what we can so it is clean when we put the new one on so let's get over here and put it on here all right, guys, you can see all the staining on here. Some of it will come off, but it is stained. So we're just using a little Lysol cleaner. Just some, we just want it clean before we go to put the new cover on there. Get off what we can. You can see quite a bit comes off. But that old vinyl does stain pretty good. You can see it, that's stained right there. So we're just gonna continue to wipe this off all the way. And we're gonna stretch the, look at that, ugh. And we're going to stretch that new cover over top of here give it a whole new look so that should do it right there you can see where it's staying these off-white ones are nice and all because they stay cooler but man do they stain so let's grab that cover we'll get it put on here boom there you go guys now we just got to figure what direction this goes on like up or down or which way i believe it's going to be the where the white lines come into a point somewhat that's going to go on now remember these are slip-on covers they're not going to be as form-fitting as like say one where you staple them on which we did do that on our club car if you guys uh, want to see that video we'll leave a link to it somewhere down below somewhere but those ones are more form-fitting to the seat it's almost like this it's almost perfectly made but these are slip type covers with the buckles so remember that you're not going to get the, the greatest fit but it will help your cart look a whole lot better you can see that looks looks a lot better already and then we're just there's three buckles in the back we're just going to buckle each one of those buckles and that you can get to them from underneath and then we can pull these a little tighter like this you could see as i start to pull it it starts to show you that how it's going to form to it a little bit but you can also see that it's not going to it's not going to get that tight there's just no way but it'll be a nice cover regardless so let's get these ones rolling once we get these three, from what I'm noticing too, they got just these three that are more central located into the center, but it would help if uh, if they had one that went from end to end, so you could pull the, the sides in sideways. I mean, I'm sure you can probably come up with like a clamp style to do it yourself, but it would be nice if it was included. There we go, there's one, we just do that. You can trim off the excess if you need to. We'll go, we're gonna finish these other ones and we'll show you what it looks like the best we can get it to fit but uh it's pretty easy i'm already on the second one give that a tug see and this one's the center one you can see there's still a bunch of fabric there so like i said it won't be form fitting like the staple on kind but it is still a nice cover and with the sun and everything on it it will it will form fit a little better you, you can see some of that it, it'll it'll fit there a little better but it's not gonna be perfect all right we're gonna get this other one on then we're gonna move on to the bottom seat And that one's a slip-on cover too with the buckles, but we do got to take that bottom seat off. So let me finish this up. 
All right, guys, this is what it looks like on there. Like I said, not perfect, but it will get a little tighter. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, though, when you read the directions, this says to take this backrest off, but there really is no need to take it off because this fits around everything you need to, and the straps go where they, they should. And then it shows you to pull. Like the picture shows it pulling from the center, but it shows two of them in the center. This has three of them like placed. It's not exactly in the center. So it won't pull this any tighter, really. I mean, you could, you could try, but it's still going to be, you know, because of the cutout of the seat. But other than I mean, we're pretty happy with that. I don't think you're going to get that any better. And like I said, besides them putting strap work that goes along the back way, this will kind of fit itself as it shrinks in a little bit and gets worn in. So that ain't too bad. But for the bottom, we're going to have to take that off, take the arms off. And then we can um, put that bottom one on. But that's what it says to do for that one. That one's going to be easy. We just don't want to have these arms in the way when we do it. So let's grab the seat off of here. Which you know all these, they just lift right up. And they come out. All right, guys, we got this, this seat off. The first thing we're going to want to do is take our arm rest off. Now this, this is an old kind of cover, too, that just has like a buckle type of latch. That's how that one's going to come off. But for now, we're going to take off these armrests. On ours, it's 11 millimeter socket. And I think you might, some of you might have the issue we do, which is rotted wood. That's never great. We got two out the rest are uh rotten in there so we're probably not gonna be able to pull those out. too easy you can see the woods all rotted and it has one of those things that pound into the back of the wood that just pulled out of the wood because the woods all rotted so we're gonna have to get these off we'll probably have to use some screws and try to catch some live wood for now but ultimately this thing needs to be replaced so we're gonna have to get some uh, what is that three quarter inch plywood cut out a new piece because all this needs to be redone on this car but for the sake of this video and time's sake we're gonna show you how to put that cover on and in a future video we'll be cutting out a new piece of wood to replace this that way all this stuff is into something solid because it's not right now <laughs> all right guys after we got the arms off we just slip this cover off. It, it only goes, or slip this cover on. So it only goes on one way. You'll see slits in the top of the cover. They go to where the seat hinges are. They don't quite line up. You, you kind of got to pull them. They're not quite in the right area. They need to be inboard a little bit more, at least for the way this seat is on this uh, Easy Go. So you got to, I don't know, if you could stretch yours to do it fit that way or cut another hole, it's, it's not quite lining up. I don't think it was quite right. But now all we gotta do is hook these four straps just like we did on the, the bottom one. Same way, we're just gonna hook them, pull them tight, and then we can put the arms back on. We're just doing it for the sake of this video because we gotta put make a whole new seat bottom here. So we'll just show you how this goes. Like that, we'll continue on with all four of these straps. We're gonna mount the arms temporarily with some screws so we can run and get some plywood. But uh, for the purpose of putting these on, this will be how you do it. Like I said, the pro only problem we had with this bottom piece was those slits didn't line up. It's like they need to be shifted inboard a little bit more. And that I think that's the only thing so far with this was those. But uh, this is our last strap. We'll give, give it a pull here. And you guys can see. It's a nice look on there. Looks pretty good. We're going to get our armrest put on here temporarily. Mount it in here so you can see what it looks like in the cart with the backrest. Uh, but that's really all you got to do to make this fit. Looks pretty good. So let's get the armrest on there. All right, guys. There we have it. We have the armrest on there temporarily until we get some new wood. But you can see how it looks. It totally transforms the look in here. Uh, one thing about the black ones, they do get pretty hot. 
uh, if the sun's getting on them. So remember that if you're in shorts because you will burn a leg. I have done it. Um, one thing too, you notice they're rotten wood. That does happen on a lot of these carts if, you're no, if you don't keep them covered. I mean, this has the cover, but the person who has it doesn't put them down all the time. So it does get wet quite a bit. Uh, this will help a little bit keep the water off of the wood, which is good. But, I mean, it's not 100%, you know, not going to keep 100% out. They are stitched. So I recommend getting a good cover. You can get some covers from Nokins. Get a good cover for this. That would be good. There's a bunch of places that have them. But that looks great. When the rear ones come in, they're going to look just like this. It'll be great looking back there. But for now, let's go to the back and put those armrests on so we at least have that portion of it on. All right, guys, we are on to these uh, armrests. Uh, ideally, the seats would be done, but the, the seat covers didn't come in in time. Boom! Bonus, guys. The uh, rear seat cover did end up coming later in the day after we shot this video that you guys are going to be seeing. So we figured we'd throw it in here for you guys so you can see it completed. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to put this rear seat cover on. Uh, we should only need a couple things for that. You're going to need your uh, little impact there with a Phillips bit. It depends what screws you have holding your seat bottom cushion on because that's the only one we're going to probably have to take off. Then we could just wrap it around this one like we did the front seat. Or you could take it off if you like. It's up to you. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to flip this open, take this rear seat off, and then we'll show you how to wrap it up. All right, there we go. We have it off. It just took a bunch of, we had a bunch of screws in the back that releases this. I'm sure if you put yours on, you know, but if not, there's usually around eight screws in the back. That will release your cushion from there. And let's get into here. They do come with some nice colored instructions. All the Nokin stuff does, so it gives you step-by-step -step what to do. Colored pictures so you can see how to do it. And for the most part, it fits what you're doing. I have found a couple things that were off a little, like we showed you on the front ones where the bottom seat they didn't quite line up. But other than that, it's all good. Now on this bottom one that would, of the seat we just took off here, that's going to be put on with Velcro, not the buckles. It's because we're going to need, we need it to lay as flat as possible because it screws to the bottom of here. So you guys can see on the seat here, if you're looking at it, now this one looks even. Well, little little bigger in the front, if you guys can see it up here, it's a little fatter because on the cushions for the front, usually the front part of the seat is fatter. So that's where you're going to want to put this part of it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to be trying to stretch this over. If you got a helper, it'd be nice. Helper. We're going to stretch this over the seat. We'll put one side on at a time. And then we're going to stretch it over it like this. Look at that. Instant transformed. That much better. Then we're going to make sure we got it centered. Then we're going to set this Velcros up. And that's it. Look at that. That is that looks awesome, actually. So now what we're going to do is just screw this back on, then we'll get to that backrest. So let us get this screwed on. And you can see, I think, also, like I was mentioning on the front one, I think it could do with one that goes from here to here, the lengthwise. That would help so much better with the pulling into the sides. So note to Nokins, maybe put a strap there. But this one's ready to go. We're going to screw this back on, then we'll get to that back one. All right, guys, there you can see we have it mounted on there. It looks awesome. It, it definitely, something simple like this transforms it so much. Again, these are like the front ones, the diamond stitch. We're going to be putting this on the back. The same way we did the back front one, it has the three spots in the middle where you're putting your, your buckles and then Velcro or kind of the spongies on the end. So that's what we're going to do in here. We're going to figure out how this goes on. I think it's going to be like the like the front, so we're going to do it this way. You know, get somebody to help me make it easier. Put that end over, pull these out. I almost don't want to pull this tight because it looks good. Maybe I won't. This one again, you're just slipping it over and hooking those buckles in the back. You can see how this one's tight. If I pulled any of these, it might take away from that. So I'm not going to pull these too tight. I think I'm just going to snug them up a little, especially these outer ones. And then it'll be, it, it looks pretty good like that. It doesn't have to have that concave. So let's get these tightened up. Well, there it is. Same as the front. Looks awesome. Back to the rest of the video. And then we put these on. But we're going to put these on so we're that much closer when they do come in. 
You can see these also carry the diamond stitch pattern on them. You got the white trim on the outside. And of course you got your cup holder. And what's cool about these ones, once they're on here, they will flip up out of your way if you need them to, if you're using the storage part of that, they'll flip up out of your way. So these are pretty easy to put on. It comes with the, the colored instructions, also has the tools you need to put it on if you wanna use those ones. And then all the hardware here. So we're gonna just commence to putting each one of these on. All right guys, we're, the process to put this on is pretty simple. You're gonna take your brackets here. There's, there's two for each side. You want the cup side to go from the inside out like this. They're gonna go like that. That's how they're gonna be on there. And then you're, there's gonna be one screw right here that's gonna mount that in. But before we get to that point, we're gonna mount this on here. You put your bracket on like that. You're gonna take your cap, which has two holes in the bottom. You wanna make sure it's the Nokens reads up. Set it in there, just like that. Put your screws down through from the top. Maybe. Here we go, we finally got it. You just set it in there, put your screws down through. You can see the holes down in there. There you go. One on each side. And then the bottom is gonna get a washer on each one of these and one of these lock nuts. You're gonna do that for all four of these, go all the way around. And you can use a screwdriver and wrench that came, to it, came with it or use your own stuff, it's up to you. But we're gonna go around, put the, well, we'll finish this side so we can show you. And then it's gonna be the same for the other side. Once you get those placed on there, you don't wanna tighten them yet because we wanna you know, see the position we wanna put the arms. So we'll just keep them loose so we can slide them back and forth to see where we'd like to have them. I know on our other cart, we put them pretty much all the way this way. Because when you're sitting there, your arm just kind of rests there naturally. Boom. We'll use the wrench they gave us, but we are going to use this when it comes time. But right there, we should see, we can still slide these to see where we want them. Now we're going to take the other screws. There's only four in there. You'll see that's the short ones. We're going to start each one in here like so. Just tighten them down. I always thought it was weird there's only one screw on the underneath here, but it works. All right, you can see that's how it's gonna sit. But we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna move ours all the way forward. That'll allow us, which is right there. That looks good. That's as far as it's gonna go before the turn. So we're gonna tighten that right there. Use the wrench they gave us to go on each one of these. Sure you can guess what size the nuts are. The old 10 millimeter. And that's it for this side. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And these things we mounted. So this is quick and easy stuff. So let's get that mounted on there and show you how that looks. As you can see guys, they're both on there. They look awesome. And like I said, they do swing up out of your way. Like if you were bringing the seat up here to flip this over to use it. They get out of your way for that, or if you had to put something bigger there. But they look awesome, and they got the branding on here. It says Nokins. They make some pretty nice stuff. The seat covers are pretty nice, too. Can't wait till that other one comes in, because that'll tie it all in together. Then maybe at some point, uh, she can get some new canvas here, so it looks uh, a little bit better, so this don't look so dated, but looks pretty good. Well, there you have it, guys. Another quick, easy update to this cart. Uh, this is the first update we're doing on this car. I'm sure we'll probably get some other ones on this one. This is the EasyGo TXT, and it is the year 2000. Uh, we also have videos on our uh, Club Car DS. That's a 2007. We've done a bunch of upgrades to that, and we got a bunch more coming, so stay tuned for those videos. But these things are awesome. Get your favorite beverage, put it right in here, and you'll love it. So as you can see, with the covers, without the covers, you can see they look a whole lot better with the covers. Can't complain. 
Uh, if you guys are interested in any of these Nokens products or anything, we'll leave a link down below for you so you guys can get your hands on some of these stuff. Again, a big shout out to Nokens for sending these to us for review. Uh, we like them. We have used uh, some of them on our other cart as well, and they're holding up nicely. They've been on there a while. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please hit us up down below in the comment section. We will get to most of them uh, if, we, if it's something we can answer for you guys. And also don't forget to hit that like button, the share, subscribe. A lot of you aren't subscribed. Please just hit that subscribe button. Helps out the channel. We appreciate the support on the channel. And all the, affiliate, the links down below, some of them might be affiliate links because we also leave links to some of the other things we've done to the cart. And they're probably Amazon links or something. So hit those up if you're interested. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching and try something new. Whatever your heart is broken.